Good evening. Good evening. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? ¿Todo bien? Ok. Todo bien. Qué bueno. Me alegro, me alegro. Eh, ¿Pudieron ver las imágenes eh, que envié al grupo? Sí, teacher. Ok. Excelente. Ok, so we're going to start a new topic today. However, what I want you to do is to ask and answer uh, present continuous questions. So you can ask about your family, about your friends, about your classmates, about your neighbors, about the person, things, places, or animals that you want to ask for. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to ask a question to Efember first. Efember, what is your mother doing now? Uh, my mother is cooking right now. Okay, thank you, Efember. Select one of your classmates and ask a question, please. Um, Hector. Okay, Hector. Okay, so uh, select another, another classmate. Yes. Okay, uh, a Luis. Luis Miguel. Yeah. Hi. Hi, Luis. Luis, what are you doing right now? I am uh, in class with my classmates. Okay, right, I'm taking right I'm taking English classes. Okay, with you. That's what you can say. Okay, Luis, select one of your classmates. Remember that you can use different WH words. You can say why, where, when, who, which, okay? Is it clear? Okay. And before to continue, guys, eh, recuerden mantener su cámara encendida. Solo si están teniendo algún inconveniente, escriban en el chat, así como escribió eh, Lidia, creo que es. Permítame. Uh -huh. Así como escribió Liri, she said that uh, she will not be with the camera because her daughter is sick. Okay. All right. So, Luis Miguel, select one of your classmates. Ask a question, please. Um, Brenda Claribel. Mm -hmm. What time is it right now? No, remember that you need to ask present continuous questions. Uh, what do you what do you do in the morning? No. Remember to formulate the right question, please. What? Ah. Oh. Uh, what is your favorite color? No, Luis. Uh, you are confusing the sentences. Yesterday, we were studying the present continuous questions. So let me give you some examples. Uh, Efember asked you, what are you doing right now? And then you say, I'm studying English with you. So Brenda, uh, let's see. Uh, where, where is your a pet sitting on? Is uh, the pet sitting on the floor, on the sofa, or on the bed? What is your pet sitting on? Is my pet, my pet is here now. Is sitting? In the, uh -huh. in the, what? In the, the bedroom, the, okay. with my son. With my son, okay. Okay. Thank so, you. And what is, what is your, uh, let's see, what is your husband eating? Favorite eating? No, what is your husband eating right now? Is oh. he eating pupusas or is he eating typical food? My husband, I like the, the beans and eggs, okay. right? My husband is eating... My husband is rice, eating rice, beans, and eggs. Rice, no, este. 
Only beans. Only beans. beans okay. Rice and eggs. Okay. Great. Okay. Now, Luis, select one of your classmates. Ask a question. Okay. Uh, Eugene. Yes. Uh, yes, tell me. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, well, well, it's okay don't worry Luis so what what is your family watching right now Eugene uh, my family is watching uh, at the movie a movie okay yes at the movie thank you select one of your classmates ask a question Luis Turn your microphone off. Thank you, Luis. Okay, you, Eugene, select one of your classmates. Okay, Adriana Garcia. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what do you like? What do you like washing in your time free? Free time, but we are asking present continuous. What do you like washing in your free time? No, present continuous. Yes, uh, what do you like washing in your free time? Present continuous. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, Adriana, select one of your classmates, ask a present continuous question. Okay. Um, Sylvia. Yes, okay. Sylvia. Are the children playing video games? Okay, are the children playing video games in your house? I don't have children. Okay. Uh, do you have a sister? No. Do you have a brother? I am married. Oh, do you, okay. So is your husband playing video games right now? Yes. And right now he's... Yes, he is. He is play, playing mm -hmm. video games. Video right. games. Thank you. Silvia, select one of your classmates, ask a question. Sandra Elizabeth. Sandra, where are where are you working? I don't working right now. I'm not working. I'm Thank not working. you. Thank you, Sandra. And what are you doing, Sandra? Um, I am doing receive the class. Okay, I'm taking English classes. All right, thank you. Sandra, select one of your classmates. Ask a present continuous question. Um, Lydia? Uh-huh. Is your mother cooking? Is your mother cooking, Lydia? Okay, Hector, is your mother cooking? No, uh, let me see. She is watching his phone right now. Bueno, her okay. phone. Okay, no, she's not. She is okay. watching or checking her phone right now. Okay. Good. Now, Hector, select one of your classmates, please. Um, I chose. I Jose choose. Alejandro. Jose Alejandro, okay. Yeah, what the, what's the question, Hector, for Jose? Hmm. What are you doing right now, Jose? What are you doing? Mm -hmm.
Alejandro, what are you doing right now? Uh, I am studying English. Okay, Alejandro, select the last person, one of your classmates. Um, Alexandra. Okay. Okay. Uh, what did you eat? Do I, do I know? One more time. What did you eat? Do I know? What are you doing right now? Is that what you say? Uh, okay. What are you doing right now? Oh, I'm um, taking my English class. I'm taking my English class. Okay. Alexandra asked the question to Luis. Okay. Um, what are you thinking about right now? Uh huh. What are you thinking about right now? Uh, I think the of this this class. I'm thinking about this class. Okay, great. Now ask the question to to Brenda, Luis. Brenda, Using the present the present continuous. Uh, Brenda, uh, are you? Are you dinner? Are, are, yes. are you... One more time, Luis. Yes. Are you are you in class in in English class? Are you taking English yes. classes? Yes, I taking yes, class. I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, guys. Thank you. You need to continue practicing. Let's continue practicing. Okay, Eugenio? Yes? Yes, I do. Okay, you need to continue practicing as well, Luis. Let's practice a little bit more. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Uh, Brenda, I want you to uh, help me reading the objective for today's lesson. The objective sure, for today's yeah. lesson. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people talking about their families, size using quantifiers. Okay, using quantifiers. Now, let me go ahead and play a conversation and I want you to practice this conversation as well. Once you can see it, just let me know, please. Let me go ahead and take the picture first because I'm going to go ahead and send it to your Zoom's, um, your Zoom's chat. Okay. There you go. And I'm going to send it right now. Just give me one minute. Okay. There you have the picture. And I'm going to play it straight away. If you can listen to the conversation, just let me know, please. Hello, do you come from a big family? Yes, to listen. Marcus, talk about okay. their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. Okay, how many brothers does Meli have? Brothers and sisters? Meli has one brother. She is only a child. Okay, she is the only one in the family, right? Yes, I have. Yes, she has. Okay, now I need you to practice this conversation between uh, these two guys, I need two volunteers. Raise your hands, raise your hands. Alexandra is the first one and I also have 
Ana Flores. Uh, one, two, three, go. Ah, sorry, uh, no tengo. Who start? You can start, Ana. Okay, wait me. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the picture. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Uh, permítame. Uh, acabo de perder la imagen. Si gusta, por favor, alguien más. Okay, yeah. it's all right. So, Silvia, Ana starts. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I am an old child. I'm the really? only child. I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. As family in China have only one child now nowadays. Nowadays. I didn't know that. Hello. Uh-huh. What about you, Marcus? I come from I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of family are small smaller these days, but big family is great because you get you get lots of birthday presents. Birthday right. presents. Okay, thank you. Now, two more volunteers. You can turn your microphones off, Ana. ¿Puedo intentarlo ahora? Yes, Alexandra and Eugenia. Okay, uh, how many brothers and sisters do you have, Meli? Actually, I am only shy. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big family are great because you get a lot of birthday presents. Excellent. Two more volunteers. Adriana and Sandra. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm, I am the only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I am come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days, uh, but big families are great because you get lots of, lot of birthday presents. Thank you. Two more volunteers. I have Geraldine. And Patricia. Um, Patricia, are you start? Yes. Okay. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Maggie? Actually, I am an only child. Really? Yeah, most families is China have only one child. Child. No child. No one day. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have two brothers and two sisters. Whoa, is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of family are smaller this day, but big family are great because you got lots of birthday present. Thank you, guys. Now, let me go ahead and share my computer screen.
one more time. And we're going to continue with the class. Now, uh, I'm going to read the objective and it says, in this lesson, participants will expose to quantifiers and their meanings. Quantifiers and their meanings. I'm going to also play a video related to quantifier. And once you can see it, let me know, please. Also, if you can listen to, let me know as well. Are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all, and then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns, except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Type in two examples using any quantifier you want. Okay, guys, what I want you to do, well, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop the record. I mean, I'm going to stop sharing the computer screen. Let me just make sure about something. Okay, and also I sent you some images on the WhatsApp group. And I want you to read that information, ephemer. The information of the first slide. Oh, actually, I didn't share that image with you. So I need to share my computer screen. I'm so sorry. Let me see. Okay, if you can see my computer screen, let me know, please. Are you able to see my computer screen or not? Yes, I can yes. see. Okay, guys. Let me go ahead and make it bigger. Okay, ephemer. So, Hello. what's the meaning of quantifiers? What does it mean? Just read uh, it. Okay, quantifiers are words that are used to state quantity. Quant what is the pronunciation? Quantity. Quantity or amount of something without stating the exact number. The exact. The, the exact number. Okay. So he says that quantifiers are words that are used to state quantity or quantity or quantity, if you want to say, or amount of something without stating the exact number. Okay, Eugene, can you please read the next slide, please? <clears throat> yes. Quantifiers answer the question, how many and how much? We use quantifiers with plural, countable nouns and uncountable nouns. Okay, so first, I want you to pay close attention to this part. It says here, it says quantifiers answers the question of how many and how much. When do we use how many? Do we use how many with countable nouns or uncountable nouns? Countable nouns. We use, yes, we use how many with countable nouns here, okay? Yes? 
And when do we use how much? We use we uncountable. We use how much? Uncountable. With uncountable nouns. With uncountable nouns. Is it clear? Questions yes. so far? Do you have questions or no questions at all? Okay, but maybe you are asking yourself, what's the meaning of countables or uncountables are? Or maybe you are asking for some examples related to a countable. Countables are all the, the, the nouns that you can count. All the nouns that you can count. And here it says, what are countables? Andrea. Andrea. What are countables? We have countables for people. Continue, Alexandra. Places. Places. Okay, Geraldine. Things. Yes, Luis Miguel. Luis. Ideas and concepts. Ideas and concepts. Okay, Efember, read the examples for people and animals. Okay. Uh... Woman, astronaut, friends, champions, dogs, wasp. What is the pronunciation? Crustaceans. Crustaceans and larva. Okay. All right, guys. So when we say countable, means that we can count. You can say, what is this one is for singular, right? You say woman. But if you have two, how do you say? Woman. Women. Women. Okay, you can have one a astronaut or two astronauts. You can have one friend or two friends. Is that clear? Two friends. Yes. Yes. Okay, Eugenia, can you please read the options that we have for places? Okay. Places. Mm -hmm. Nations. Nations. Lake, nations. Lake. Mountain. Mountain. House. Mountain. House. Bank. Trees. Beaches. Basement. Thank you. Now we we have the options for things. Hector, read them, please. And bananas, car, computer, explosion, hole, bumps, bones, and the last one is sticks. Okay, so you can say one banana, or you can also say two bananas. You can say one computer or two computers. You can say one car or Two cars. Is it clear? Oh, no. Always mm -hmm. we need a yes. For example, in car, one car, car is singular in cars. Two, two cars. Mm -hmm. Computer. Computers and explosion. Computers. Mm -hmm. And explosion. Explosions. Ah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Brenda, read the, the information for ideas and concepts. Sure, teacher. Situations, causes, causes, days, mm -hmm. categories, categories, weeks, fear, uh -huh. challenges. Yes. Uh, repeat this word, please. Categories? No, categories. Categories. Yes. Thank you. Omit the T. 
categories. Categories. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And you also have, guys, you also have the option for uncountable nouns. But in order to understand uncountable nouns, you need to understand first. You need to understand first that the uncountable nouns, they have categories. They have categories. For example, for diseases, what are some diseases that you cannot count? For example, flu, chickenpox, cancer, pneumonia, typhoid, and malaria. Malaria. Okay, you cannot say one flu, two flu, three flus. It is incorrect. Why? Because it is uncountable. Uncountable. Okay. What, a, what is another category for uncountable? You have subjects in the school, in the university. For example, you have chemistry, physics, by logic, I'm sorry, by, let me see, biology, history, geography, and literature. Okay? For subjects, you also have sports. Alexandra, read the options for sports. Hockey, cricket, mm -hmm. badminton, mm -hmm. uh, football, football, golf, tennis. Okay, so you cannot say to crickets, to hockeys, to badminton. It is incorrect. Okay? Incorrect. So you also have the category for feelings, Hector. Hector? Sorry for that. And love, mm -hmm. hate, hope, greed, fear, anger, anger, courage. courage. Okay, anger, courage, happiness, laughter, and sadness. Laughter, sadness. Okay. So, Alexandra, read the categories for cases. Air, smoke, steam, mm -hmm. fog, oxygen. Oxygen. Um, la siguiente, no sé la pronunciación. Hydrogen. Um, y la última, sorry. Carbon. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Now, uh, we also have another category. Catherine, can you please read the next category, please? Sugar, beef, noodle, rice, butter, pasta, bread, cheese, and chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate and garlic. Okay. So we had the ca category of food. You cannot say one sugar, two sugar. You say sugar and it is uncountable. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, yes. Sylvia, we also have the category for materials. Wool, plastic, litter, cotton. And cotton. Cotton. Cotton, yes. Cotton. Okay, Alejandro, we also had the category for metals. Gold, silver, steel, mm -hmm. copper, bronze. Bronze. Okay. 
All right, so beside that, we have, let's see, I'm going to select another one. Uh, Patricia, read the category for, for uh, miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. Art, art, mm -hmm. news, music, for furniture, nature. furniture, grass, snow, luggage, luggage, equip, equipment, uh, equipment, garbage, catch, um, look, creo que es. luck, luck, cash. Okay, and the last one, Mr. Baldomar, please. The category for liquids. Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. Water, meal, coffee, tea, oil, vinegar, oil. rain, blow, petrol. Blood, petrol. Okay. Blood, petrol. Yes, those are uncountable nouns. All the ones I showed you, those are uncountable now. So you cannot count. And there you have some examples for countable nouns. Remember, right now, what you are just identifying is countable and uncountable nouns. Is that clear? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, awesome. Uh, Norma, Patricia. Read the first sentence, please. It is possible for me to connect my printer to your computer. Is it possible for me to connect my printer to your computer? So computer is countable. So you can say one, one computer, two computers, three computers. Alexandra, number two, please. The show was a mockumentary about collage life. Okay, the show was a mockumentary about college life. I think that that would be documentary. Uh, Alejandro, next. You are Peter's, Peter's younger, younger brothers, right? You are Peter's younger brother, right? Okay, Geraldine, next. At home, there is a boy or two girls. Okay, at home, there is a boy or two girls. Okay, uh, next, Brenda, number five. He has a tendency to romantic his college years. He has a, tenden a tendency to romanticize his college years. Adriana, continue. Six. The soldiers were tearing across the bridge at breakneck speed. Okay, Eugene, seven. <sighs> She recalls being a bossy little girl as a child. Okay, Sylvia, next. She removed the lid from the box. Luis. The pop group is currently on a province wide tour. Okay, Sylvia, next. A group of people left the camp to look for firewood. Firewood. Fa firewood. Sandra, Fire next. He, um, his. His broad chest narrows to a slim weight. Thank you. Adriana, next. He went to college to study complaining. Thank you, Alejandro. Next. Uh, 
Uh, Geraldine, next. Both of the kids are true animal lovers. Thank you, David. In September, they so will begin college. Thank you, Ana Flores. Number fifteen, right? Yes. The man, child, is his father. Thank you, Leila. Next. His dress was custom made by a Parisian tailor. Thank you. Uh, Patricia, next. Patricia Lisseth. Maria Santos, next. Sorry. Okay, okay, Maria. La 18 es ver, teacher. 17. Is her brother receiving a Received. package of bows from her? Hector, next. What is your gun, Rach? Okay, Geraldine. Please look after a younger brother and sister. Lydia. Lydia or Sylvia? Uh, Lydia. Okay. No one can make a good cook out of bad fabric. Okay, if you see computer, college, brother, boy, girl, college, bridge, girl, child, those are countable nouns. And now let's move to the example of uncountable nouns. For uncountable nouns, I'm going to show you the category first, and then you will be able to see some examples. Like I said before, the uncountable noun is a type of noun of thing or substance that cannot be counted. And there you have a category for liquids, water, milk. You also have sound, air, music, subsea. You have cloud, rain, space, salt, perfume. Those cannot be counted. You also have drinks. Beauty, life, food, electricity, petrol, and you also have a weather, work, smoking, satisfaction, wick, and soil. Okay, you have the first one. David, can you please read the first one for uncountables? David? Listening to the music, okay. Listening to the music will make you feel relaxed. Relaxed. Thank you. Relaxed. Norma, okay. read read the next one, number two. We are relax relaxing our body is beside beside the beach. The beach. Okay, the Alejandro. Next. A spaceship. 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 Sent by N A N I S A. Have lost its orbit in into space. Okay. Thank you, Alexandra. Next. Add some more sugar to a cup of tea. Thank you, Brenda. Continue. He has late because of the bad weather. Okay, Francisco Valdomar. Yes. Five. And number six. Five. Five. Oh, okay. sorry. Number six. My bad. Thank you. Okay. What is what it until we do it? We do it. Eugenia. We do it. 
thanks. Anthony's mom made pasta for breakfast. Adriana. Girls and women love shopping. And the last one, Sandra. Number nine. He needs complete satisfaction after the massage. Okay. Now, guys, the question for you. Do you have any question related to countable and uncountables? Not right now. Not right now. Okay. So mm. after, after checking the use of countable, after checking the examples of countable and uncountables, I want you to see the main topic. And the main topic is quantifiers. What are some, what are the quantifiers that we have in English? And when do we use quantifiers? So if we go back, if we go back, let me just check. If we go back on the explanation, it says, Quantifiers, quantifiers are words that are used to state quantity or amount of something without stating the exact number. And I also gave you some examples. I showed you the, the next um, a slide and it says here that quantifiers are, I mean, answer the questions how much and how, I'm sorry, how many and how much. Okay, so and I gave you the uh, example of countable and uncountables. Since you saw the example of countables and uncountables, I'm going to show you the real quantifiers that we have. So we have quantifiers that we only use with countable nouns. This ones, we use them just with countable, I'm sorry, uncountable nouns. For example, much, a bit of, little, a great deal of, a large quantity of, a little, a very little, just with uncountables. Okay? What is a bit of? A bit of. It's like a small portion of. Oh, a bit okay. of, a small portion of. It's okay. for explain with person or no? Portions. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, the quantifiers. These ones are the quantifiers. Okay, those are the quantifiers. And those quantifiers are just, just with uncountables. And we also have quantifiers that we use with countables. For example, we have a majority of, a great number of, several, many, a large number of, a number of, and few. But we also have a quantifiers that you can use with both, with countables and uncountables. For example, you can, you can use all, enough, none, some, more, must, lot of, less, and least. I'm going to give you some examples. For example, you can say with countable, uh, people, is people, is the word people countable or uncountable? It's countable. 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 Okay. So using many, you can say many people are studying English nowadays. Is it clear? Yep. Many yes, teacher. People. You can also say 
a large number of people are studying a second language. Or you can also say a large number of people are uh, immigrating or migrating to the United States. Okay, you can also say few people are getting sick of COVID-19 nowadays. Few people. Okay, you can also say a great number of students are getting a new skills, new computer skills, number of students. You can also say several countries suffer the pandemic several countries. Many of you need to practice your English. Is it clear? If you are not using the microphone, you can turn it off. Just if you, if you want to participate. Okay, so you have examples using countable nouns. Okay. And also you have example with uncountables. Um, is sugar countable or uncountable? Uncountable. uncountable. Okay. So if I say much sugar on your coffee, can cause you diabetes. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, a little portion of butter can make your bread uh, more delicious. Is bread countable or uncountable? Bread is countable. Are you sure? Ah, sorry, uncountable. Uncountable, no. why? Uncountable. Because a bread is in the category of food and food cannot be count. Is it clear? Yes? Yes. Okay, now let me show you some examples with quantifiers. There you have, look at this. I hope that you can see them. Let me see the time first, six more minutes. We're going to continue practicing, by the way. It says here, expressions of quantity tell us how much or how many of something exists. And you also have this summary of the most common expressions of quantity order from zero quantities to more than you need or want, or you want, sorry. Um, there you have the examples. Those are quantifiers, okay? With countables, quantifiers, with countables. And you also have examples, sentence as examples. And you also have the second option, quantifiers with uncountable nouns. Okay, and here you have some examples. So let's review. Um, pets, countables or uncountables? Countables. Countables. countables, right? Okay, so David, read the first example. Not any and no. It, not any in... Here, oh, okay, okay. the examples, please. 
I don't have any pets. Okay, I don't have any pets. Or you can also say, any pets exist in my house. Okay? Okay, read the second one. There are not pets pens that work. Mm -hmm. There are not pens that work. Okay, or you can also say no pens are working uh, on my desk. Yep. Uh, Sylvia, and let me let me go ahead and explain you something. Most of the times, let's say 70%, the quantifiers are at the beginning of the sentence. But there are some exceptions in which you are going to have the quantifiers in the middle of the sentence. But let's check the examples for few and not many. Ephemer. The second one? Yes. Few shops sell this type of coffee. Mm -hmm. And no many shops sell this type of coffee. Okay. Excellent. And on the first sentence, Luis, what is the countable noun? What is the countable noun? Pets. Sorry? In chops. Chops. Thank you, Sandra. This, this is chops is uncountable. No, countable. Chops. Okay, Sandra. And what is the count the, the quantifier? on that sentence. Quantifier. What is the quantifier on the first sentence? Um, chops? No, that's the noun, countable noun. Mm -hmm. But what is the quantifier? Type of few. coffee. No. Few. Mm -hmm. Who few. said few? Few. 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 Me? Yes. Thank you. The quantifier is few. Okay, Adriana. Uh, continue with the second option, please. Second quantifier. A few demonstrators turned violent. A few demonstrators turned violent. Okay. Awesome. You also have the the last option or the last example, Sylvia. You have some, any, and I want you to read them, the examples. There, there are some bottles of milk in the fridge. fridge. How do you say? Fridge. Fridge. Mm -hmm. fridge. Mm -hmm. Next. Do you have any brothers and sister? Mm -hmm. I haven't got any books to read. Okay, excellent. So there you have some example of some, any, on the option you read, Selvia. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, we are going to continue with this topic, okay, the next week. Because this topic is kind of long and I'm going to give you some other examples. Since it's time to let, let you go, le voy a dar dos minutos nada más, pero pregunten sobre la clase. Preguntas, dudas que tengan sobre la clase. Yo sé que quantifiers no es un tema común y es un poquito, no voy a decir difícil, pero sí tiene un poquito de dificultad. Sin embargo, yo traté en lo posible de ser como lo más generalizado. Y créanme con quantifiers, hay un, un montón que no tienen ideas. Sin embargo, yo les traje como las categorías. Los quantifiers que ustedes pueden utilizar con, con, 
con nouns que pueden contar, de quantifiers que, que pueden usar con nouns que no pueden contar y quantifiers que pueden usar con los que cuentan y los que no cuentan. Es decir, hay una tercera categoría que lo pueden usar para, para los dos tipos, contables y no contables. Entonces, traté la manera de ser como eh, lo más específico para que ustedes pudieran entender. Yo sé que al principio es que cuesta un poquito. Sin embargo, cuando ya vamos practicando más, ustedes le van a ir entendiendo un poquito más. Preguntas. Creo que está claro. Solo es de claro? seguirlo practicando. Es de seguirlo practicando. La mayoría de veces los quantifiers van a estar al principio de la oración. La mayoría de veces. Le, eh, digamos un 70%. Pero en algunas ocasiones, como los ejemplos que vieron, los quantifiers están en medio de las oraciones. Ok, la última pregunta y los dejo ir. ¿Alguien que tenga la última pregunta? Ok, veo que nadie. Nos quedamos hasta acá. Si no han cenado, buen provecho. Que tengan un buen fin de semana. And see you on Monday. Eh, antes de dejarlos ir, eh, mayo 10, recuerden, creo que es miércoles, si no me equivoco. Yes. No hay clase. Por lo tanto, van a, re, van a recibir esa clase el viernes. La vamos a reponer. Ok, solo para que se hagan... Eh, una idea y que se organicen con su agenda. Okay. See you on Monday. Bye. Okay, Bye. Happy, Happy weekend. Bye. Happy Happy weekend. Good night. Happy weekend. You too. Thank you.